Hello to everyone guys, this is a new video and today we will uh, uh, see how to make uh, an uh, FOV, a field of view for our 2D uh, stealth game. So uh, why I'm making this tutorial is because there isn't any uh, 2D tutorial. Uh, there is only uh, 3D for the field of view so I see a bunch of tutorial and then I made it my own uh, uh, 2D version of this to work more smoothly on uh, a 2D game uh, so this will be a, a two-part episode because uh, there will be this episode and then the actual uh, mesh uh, sorry the not the mesh the look of the field of view today we will only see the backend part of the system so let's start we start by creating a new game object uh, calling it player and uh, feeding it with a sprite to see it a rigid body 2d and a box collider the rigid body set it to kinematics then we will create the rotation follow mouse script that uh, we'll need to follow the rotation of our player, follow our mouse to see it uh, better. So, we need the two variables, the angle and the view camera. Uh, with the view camera, uh, we can, we can uh, get the view camera and then with uh, this, we will uh, uh, get the mouse position. So, we use the function screen to word point and we feed it uh, with the uh, input dot mouse position and we subtract the transform dot position uh, to have it in local space then we, we use some basic trigonometry function to have the angle and uh, then we transform it the rotation by a simple uh, quaternion dot slurp uh, so yes this is the easy part of the process but it it's not the back end that is difficult, like the uh, uh, front end part. So this value 10,000 is the speed. Then we create the FLV uh, script. Uh, the first uh, uh, function that we need is a function to have a direction from an angle. The direction is a vector 2, obviously, so not a void. Uh, Yes, now we need to check if the angle is global and uh, we need to have the angle in degrees. If it's global, we port it. If it is not global, we port it to global. And then we use uh, uh, another time simple trigonometry to get the actual uh, direction. Uh, so yes, remember uh, this all goes into the same uh, function that uh, works in radians inside the unity. So, then we need the two variables, that is uh, the view radius and the view angle. Uh, we need the, to put in the fixed update our find visible player method that uh, we'll create right now. Uh, so, to, use, to create this method we also need a collider 2D array of uh, the player in the radius. Uh, and we get this player by the function of the physics overlap circle all so this uh, will return uh, an actual collider I failed the name so I will change it uh, next but the name is uh, uh, the actual player in radius not the visible player uh, so after doing this uh, we will uh, go through all this uh, player we'll loop through now I change the name uh, and we need a list of transform to uh, store our all the player that we found uh, with this transform so we created the list to be public because we need it uh, if we want to know by other script uh, what player we have so we clear the list before entering the for loop and then we create a, a, a transform variable called the player we check uh, inside uh, the angle so we need to have uh, the direction of our player 
uh, our target uh, that we are targeting and then we by the vector two dot uh, angle function we can uh, found uh, the angle and if this angle is less than uh, the view radius uh, angle than half of the view radius angle then we can uh, actually uh, go forward and uh, if the distance in the distance of this uh, uh, things in the obstacle mask that we not have the variable right now but uh, now we will create it if in this distance so from the uh, actual uh, ourself the fov uh, script running uh, the object that run this script and the uh, uh, player target we don't have uh, doesn't have an obstacle so we can uh, add the a transform of the target of the player to the uh, visible player uh, list so we will uh, now I will show you some example we you can see I'm making uh, the actual uh, box and the layer right now so remember to put on all the sprite the uh, box collider or uh, basically a collider because uh, otherwise uh, the uh, overlap circle all uh, function will not work because it dex collider not uh, game object so uh, we have uh, basically finished it now it's uh, like adding all the box collider and the actual uh, correct tag so the blue is uh, a player and the red is an obstacle and uh, we can see that uh, our our uh, uh, cube uh, notice it in the visible player in the right notice the player if it's uh, directly seen seeable if it's uh, uh, over an obstacle it will not see it and uh, if uh, actually we move away the obstacle we can uh, now see another time seat so we, we you can see that uh, it changes thanks for watching we see the in two days to make the actual uh, front end part